Hello, everybody. Hi, everybody. Dr. Nick. I think it was Dr. Nick from Simpsons. Whoa. <laughs> I got to watch more Simpsons, man. That's what I should do. That's actually, I, I watched, I binged on Rocky and Bullwinkle, so I've watched them all. And that includes, like, Mr. Peabody and, um, who's the dude? <clears throat> dude with his son. Aesop's Fables. Or Aesop and Son, or whatever it was. I, was, I should binge out on Simpsons. Anyway, um, <clears throat> this here's a video request. And if you have a question, it doesn't have to be a video request, but you have a question about life, guidance, wisdom, and say, hey, Aaron, how do I not fuck up like you did? And you say, oh, God, look at it. Oh, we fucked up. Oh, God, how do I avoid that? <laughs> then go to assholeconsulting.com and ensure you don't become like me. Make sure you have a shot at life. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm hungover, and I'm very tired, so, um, anyway, so, all the way, I'm starting to sound like I'm from the East Coast, but this, uh, comes all the way from South Africa, Michael writes, and Michael has a question, <clears throat> Michael writes, uh, my question, succinct, of course, you mention low capital business ventures as a strategy for getting out of debt, I am a 33-year-old male, male, married, no kids, with a number of worthless degrees, education, psychology, and cost accounting. Well, cost accounting, that's not worthless. That, you get a job with that. I don't have much debt, but I'm looking to build up capital to buy real assets, the kind that generates annuities income. <clears throat> I work 16 hours a day trying to save as much as possible, but it's going to take around 20 plus years to get where I go. 16 hours a day? Oh, it's going to take you 20 years. You don't got, what are you, what are you getting paid? $3 an hour? Um... I know South South Africa is, is not freaking, you know, New York City or Singapore, but still, it, um, I'd imagine. You could, well, anyway, uh, what would you suggest as a good way to earn extra cash on the side? I don't know. If you're working 16 hours a day, where where is the the side? Are you going to work when you sleep? What do you... I've, without giving up a relatively decent job in South African standards. I've tried and failed with Forex and online trading. Yeah, yeah don't fuck with that shit. That's not, that's not investing. That's, that's risk-taking. You might as well go to a casino. It's more fun. You get free drinks and the, the not stewardesses. Waitresses and blackjack dealers are hot. Uh, Web design time intensive when you, when you building sites for others and a number of other ventures. Um, what I really want is financial emancipation. And out of the perpetual rat race, what is your opinion regarding flipping property as a way to build up fast capital? Well, it's not a way to build up fast. I mean, you'll, if you do it right and over the course of time, you will build it up. And certainly before your 20-year plan. Uh, but it's not like, oh, I got capital today. I know you're a hands-on guy, engineering, production, and manual labor. I totally get it. But I really suck at that sort of stuff. Was utterly miserable working in factories when I was younger. <clears throat> What's the next best thing? Toodles, Mickey. All right, so here's the deal. I took my little notes. Um, one is programming boot camp. Um, I think, I, I know a couple guys who do, do this, look into it. There are different companies that offer it out there, but you go into a two or three week intensive training course and you learn how to program. And um, my buddy in France, uh, he... he um, he strongly recommended that, and he that he credits that for his success that he has, and he's doing actually quite well. Um, and it was like three weeks, so you know, give the finger to fucking school um, and go to the boot camp and, and do that. Uh, so that'll give you a very quick skill that isn't manual labor. Uh, it is intense, and and it's going to be boring because programming is boring. Um, but that's one thing. Another thing I always advise this is becoming a security guard. So um, I think you got two jobs. You have to have two jobs for 16 hours a week. So give up one of them, even if the security guard job pay is lower, but insist that the security guard job is sitting down on your ass or where you have time to work on other ventures. Uh, that, you know, I, as you guys know, I, when I work security, I always write. That's, that's where almost 60% of the books I've written have been written, or 60% of the pages <coughs> have been written on shifts. And um, that, uh, that helps. That allows you to pursue your other ventures. So, I mean, you could even combine both, become a boot camp guy, a programming boot camp, and program apps for smartphones while you work as a security guard until a couple of those take, and then you just live off the royalty income. Uh, so look at a security. I'm not sure what the licensing and, and the issue is with South Africa, but that's at least, I mean, it varies here state to state. 
Uh, California, you got to have a fucking license or some fucking... California just... is. <laughs> if they didn't have Silicon Valley, they'd be gone. You know, like, here, go back to Mexico. We don't want you. Let's leave us the basins up to San Diego. Uh, flipping, that's that's good, and, and that is a way to... Right off the bat, you're independent, but you got to do it right. And you also have to be a very good carpenter and plumber and electrician. Uh, and so those are skills that you'd get out of the rat race immediately, and you'd be your own man, but, you know, you got all these people, they, they think it's, oh, I'll just flip this house, anybody could do it. It's like, no, you got to research the property, get, you know, make sure you're, you're choosing the right property. I'm not familiar with the South African uh, housing market, um, but, you know, kind of, that, that is one way to go, but it, it's not, uh, it's going to be physical labor, you're going to have to pick up a couple trades. And then finally, um, this has nothing to do with making the money, but if you want financial emancipation, there's two sides of it. There is how much money you make and there's how much money you spend. And everybody focuses on how much they make. And, and that's good, you should. But understand you're not 100% in control of that. That depends on the labor market, depends on what people are going to pay you. You got to go in and pound the pavement to go and find employment, find contracts, to all that other stuff. <clears throat> so there's other people and their best interest, it's not, not that you're evil or bad, they want to pay you as little as possible. That's just their natural best interest. Um, so there's, there's, it's not as easy as cake on that side of the formula. However, what is easy as cake and is 100% under your control is your spending. And this is where minimalism comes in. You are, I would say, the 75% of my personal financial emancipation comes from minimalism, me not spending a lot. Uh, you know, I have my vices, as you know, I, I like to, to go hiking and travel. Uh, but even then, I'll sleep in the car, I'll do the Priceline thing where William Shatner does his, his price chop negotiator. Because William Shatner, he's my friend, he gets me, he gets me good deals on, on, on hotels. Because, you know, him and I are like that. <laughs> anyway. Dude's fucking cool, I like William Shatner, he's pretty fucking neat. Uh, so, uh, but yes, that, that is 75% of the reason I can, I have fuck you money is not because I have fuck you money. It's because I spend so little and need very little money to make it qualified as fuck you money. So <clears throat> I would focus on that. You don't have kids. I don't know if you want to have kids. I personally do not recommend it. Um, you know, for me. I don't know what you and your wife want to do, but you do have a wife, and she's got to be on board with that man. She's got, these these broads, these women, they they think stuff in trinkets and things is what the world is all about, and you got to train these girls or find a real rare one. I hope you have her, where it's like, no, dear, it is not trinkets and things and crap that you're just going to stuff and fill up the house with. It is you and me spending time together having fun, maybe with children, maybe with friends, maybe with family, whatever, and uh, sitting at a beach and relaxing and getting good food or making food at home. That's what life is about. And if, if and your wife has got to be on board with that. It, and, and if not, minimalism may not be a, a route you can pursue without her threatening divorce or being all... <laughs> Thing. Yeah, we don't have nice things. We got the best things in the world. Freedom. We don't have. I. I just. It's amazing. I don't know what South American women are or South African women are like. South American, South African women are like. Uh, but in the United States, it's they're very um, consumerist. What's the word I'm looking for? Not artificial. Materialistic. Ooh, trinkets and baubles. Yay! Does it cure cancer? No. Does it help us work less? No. Does it enrich us at all? No. What does it do? It's it there like pretty. Yay! I have the matching set. They all go to... Remember Beanie Babies? I don't know if that was a thing in, in Africa. Probably not because you guys, you know, like, uh, we don't got time to piss away stupid money on that. Oh my God, they had this Beanie Baby collection fucking fat and all these women would... Oh Jesus. Just fucking Christ. It's a pink giraffe. It's worth six hundred dollars. Does it pay dividends? No. Does it uh, pay income? No. Does it generate rental income? No. Does it shit out gold bricks? No. What is it? It's a pink giraffe. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, so yeah, try the minimalism thing if you can. Finally, look, 
the last sentence, you know, I, I know your hands on engineering side, but I really suck at that sort of stuff. Well, tough fucking shit. I'm sorry. You know what? Easy jobs don't pay a lot because a lot of people not only can do them, but they want to do them. I mean, look at, um, um, in the U.S., uh, what are they called? Nannies. All these gals come out of college with their worthless fucking liberal arts degrees. They can't find anything, they go in nanny. And then they bitch and whine how they don't make a lot of money. And I do, I raise the kid. Yeah, but there's like a fucking million of you out there. Or teachers. Teachers is another great thing. It doesn't take much to, to... Well, you know, you got your degree in education. You know the pay is crap. That's because there's a million fucking people who got there. More than a million. Tens of millions of people. So, you're just going to have to embrace the suck. I should write a book called Embrace the Suck, but I already... It's in there in Bachelor Pad Economics. I think covered everything. But yeah, get ready to embrace the suck, all right? There is no easy way out. Um, so, you know, the easiest way, minimalism. So you need less money. And just, you're going to have to hammer down and do something. I remember, this is more fun, but I taught ballroom dance classes. And I remember I had, I only was teaching swing dance. That's all I taught was swing. And then this guy in the Twin Cities, he retired unannounced. And all of a sudden, like, 40% of the market opened up and people were calling me left and right, can you teach this, can you teach this? And uh, it was, he did ballroom Latin and salsa and the classes I didn't do. And it dawned on me, if I hammered down and learned all these dances in a month without paying for dance classes, I'd just go dancing. I picked it up, practiced on my own, it was a month of hell, but I learned it and then I like tripled my income because I could now go and teach three classes instead of just one. And uh, yeah, man, it was you. You just have to do that. That's how. That's how people get ahead. It's not doing the same fucking shit, doing easy crap. That's that's what Democrats and socialists and leftists tell you. You will do it if you don't succeed. It's George Bush and evil Republican conservative people. I don't know what you guys have for political party, but the the working party, the people that actually work and produce for a living. <laughs> So yeah, just uh, you're gonna have to do it. That's it. And that's that's a lesson for everybody. I should. I'll do another video because it's kind of interesting. So anyway, hope that helps and hope everybody else learns something. Toodles.